An algorithm is a set of steps that you give a computer to solve a problem. At first, if you think about traditional programming, an algorithm is saying, let's say I'm an automatic door, <laughs> and the algorithm would be, since, 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 do you see someone? If you see someone, open door, wait three seconds, closer, maybe longer than three seconds. But it's a very concrete set of steps that you give a computer, and um, the computer will constantly run those over and over and over again. A lot of times we like to compare algorithms to recipes. So it's like step one, step two. Then there are a couple of ingredients that go into like the sensor that the algorithm has or the motors that move the door open and close. With the AI, an algorithm is kind of more abstract. So rather than telling the computer exactly how to solve the problem, you give the computer examples of solving it correctly. And then you're like, OK, figure out the steps yourself. So a cool example of that is there's this game called Brick Breaker. Um, so Brick Breaker is if you've ever seen you know, the bricks at the top of the screen, you're controlling a paddle and it hits a ball back and forth to get all the bricks to break. Well, an AI algorithm was basically given a picture and it was given its score and it was told, all right, keep playing this game until you figure out how to make your score as high as possible. So there's a bit of math behind it. Pretty much the math just says, um, this is the action that you took. This is the reward, the score that you're gaining, um, and try to optimize it so that you can get the actions correlated with the score that you have. So an optimization is kind of like climbing a hill. So when you're climbing a hill, let's pretend you can only see the step right in front of you and the step right behind you and the steps to either side. Those are your actions. Um, so you take a step in a direction and then you check. Am I closer to my goal or am I further from my goal? And you can keep taking these steps and eventually you'll try to figure out, okay, I, I get where the direction of this hill is going. I can keep going up there. Um, so that's what the AI algorithm does. And it's really fun if you go and find the video of the Q Learning Brick Breaker. Um, you'll be able to see this algorithm that starts with like randomly moving the paddle all over and it's like not really breaking anything. And then at the end, it's at least better than I've ever played the breakout game. It's like quite, <laughs> quite amazing. Um, and so that's what the power of AI is. Um, a lot of problems are really, really complex, and we don't know step by step the best way to solve them. For example, if we're thinking about a Snapchat filter, there are lots of different people with lots of different faces. So how do we figure out the eyes and the nose step by step for each one? Um, it's not entirely clear. So it's much better to use an AI algorithm that says, here are a bunch of faces. We figure out where the eyes and the nose are. Um, so now you go out and figure out how to do this for every other face that we throw at you. Um, what's cool about it is that you don't have to be perfect. So very few AI algorithms have 100% um, accuracy, but even at 90%, we're like, okay, this is pretty good. Or um, at that point, you can ask a human to come in and you know identify the last 10% that it couldn't figure out. Um, but it's awesome because we're getting better and better. We're making better and better methods to do these things so computers can solve more and more complex problems for us.